I'm Mandy and I'm from Pennsylvania. I go to school at Marywood University where I'm studying art therapy. And in the spring of 2015, I studied abroad at Saatchi. And it was just an incredible experience. I don't even know. I wish I still lived in Florence. I would like to go to grad school for photography, hopefully at Saatchi, because uh, being there during my undergrad for abroad has like it was the most amazing experience and I can't imagine going to grad school anywhere else. One of the coolest opportunities that Sasha gave me was the opportunity to conserve ancient artifacts found in the Chianti region of Tuscany. When I was studying abroad with Sachi, I took a course called Conservation of Archaeological Artifacts taught, taught by Nora Marossi. And in that class, I learned the techniques behind conserving archaeological objects. The class also gave me the chance to use what I had learned to work with real, real ancient objects. This was a really cool opportunity for me because it gave me the chance to do something that my home university couldn't offer. One of my favorite courses was the fresco painting um, with Mario because you really get to learn the process of um, doing the painting, which you would kind of think it's just, oh, you're just slabbing on the paint on the wall, but no, you have to have it all planned out precisely and pick out your colors and have them made before you even begin with a brush anywhere. And then with the ceramics course, I also had a lot of fun with that. We went on a trip to Certaldo, which is outside of Florence in the Tuscan hillside. And you go to this villa with a bunch of other potter, potters and um, you do a raku firing, which is really hands-on and you get to be in the process of it with not only building up the clay for the form, but also part of the firing process. And um, you get to see how things turn out because they don't always turn out how you think they would with that process. So it's really awesome to see that. That was one of my favorite days there when we went to do that. You just have the whole day out on the hillside, the beautiful hillside in Tuscany, and you're creating art with a bunch of people who also love to do that. So it was really amazing. The class that probably had the biggest impact on me was Romeo's black and white film photography class because I've been a photographer my whole life. Like when I was little, like my mom bought me this camera that I loved and used until it broke. and. I was a wedding photographer for my mom's friend when I was eight and I took photo in all of high school and I think I've always wanted to be a photographer but when I got to college I kind of lost that. But once I walked into Romeo's class, it sort of reawakened that in me and it wasn't something that I was expecting. Like I've always loved photo but I wasn't expecting it to hit me that hard and it did because Romeo is the type of person who will tell you everything that you're supposed to hear as a photographer or as an artist but that no one ever tells you. Like he tells you to be inspired by your own work. You're like, oh, duh, like of course, of course you should be inspired by my own work, like that makes sense. But no one ever tells you that because they just expect you to. As for the art history course that I took, it was also really incredible. Um, I took one of those six credit ones, so we traveled with it as well. And it's incredible to be able to do that instead of just reading out of the book and seeing the pictures of it. You get to go see these works in person and appreciate them all much more because you're seeing them like as a first-hand experience, not just photocopies in your textbook. So it was really incredible to see that. I saw so many works, can't even count how many I saw. Um, it was just truly incredible. So yeah, Saatchi has a lot of opportunity for students who are learning to, wanting to learn to further themselves as artists and just experience something new. I think the best part about living in Florence was the opportunity to really get to know the city and some of the people in it. And I did those things by discovering cool places while I explore the streets, by going to the local farmer's market on a weekly basis, and by interacting 
with some local expats and a few Italian students, some of whom I still keep in contact with to this day. All of these things really gave me insight, insight into how diverse life is in Florence, Italy. Because abroad changes you. You don't expect it to, but it 100% does in every way that you need it to, but you don't even know it yet. So it was, it was hard leaving. It's like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I had an amazing time for those four months, and especially at the school where they have a lot of opportunity for young students and artists to explore themselves and um, explore the city and get a sense of the Italian culture and the Italian art and be influenced from everything surrounding you because it's just all over the place there.